Joe, the figures for last quarter were so understated. The budget doesn't even exceed the actuals. I mean, yes, go back to the drawing board or I will give myself another account manager. Idiot. You expect me to get up and get them? Sorry. Whoa, 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 what's the big rush? I also need a fourth quarter projection uh, in this report by six o'clock tonight. Uh, Miss James, I leave at 5 p.m. today. You do remember I have my appointments on Thursdays. Appointments? Yes, my classes. Classes? Uh oh, you mean those little uh, theater? It's film. It's twice a month. It used to be once a week, but since I was having conflict here at work, I had to change right. it. Right. I appreciate you staying and all. Actually, they're having some talent managers and agents come in from New York. And I made my appointment for 6.15 p.m. Annette, I understand that you have a hobby, but you know this is tax season. This is also our fiscal year end. Yes, I do understand that, Miss James. That's why I've been working overtime every night this month. And I made you aware of this a month ago, and unfortunately, I can't change my appointment time. I understand that you have interest outside of work, but this is important. Yes, and my acting is... Is what? My dream. <laughs> you got that right. A dream. Look, you have a great position here. You're well liked. You wouldn't want to ruin that for yourself, would you? I just don't understand how I could ruin. Look, <laughs> Miss James, I just need to be able to leave on time for a change. That is all. Well, I guess you're gonna have to decide which is more important, your future here or some pipe dream that will probably never happen. How do you, how do you know that? Excuse me? How do you know what will happen in my life? I mean, it is my life, right? Wow. So, you're willing to give up a good paying job and security. I should not have to choose. It, it, it shouldn't be one or the other. I should be allowed to have a life. I am here 11 hours, most days and most weekends. This is what it takes to get to where I am. This is what ambition looks like. So it's only ambition if it makes sense to you, right? If you don't want this job, I can find someone else who does. It is as simple as that. I'm leaving tonight at 6 p.m., Miss James. If those quarterlies are not on my desk by 6.30 p.m., then... What is that? The quarterlies. I also need the projections for next year in the report. But, but you didn't mention that. Well, now I am. And I need it by 6.30 p.m. Are you serious? Obviously. But, but Miss James, that will take at least two to three hours to complete. Then I guess you better get to it pretty quick, huh? What is this? Uh, well, these are the files for the projections. I figured since you practically live here that you could take care of this tonight. If not, I take care of it first thing in the morning. I see. <laughs> well, I guess you will not be returning to work tomorrow to complete the projections. You're firing me? Yep, insubordination. <laughs> insubordination? Wow. 
What the hell is that? Oh, so this here is the email that I sent to you over a month and a half ago requesting to leave on time today. And not only did I CC the CFO, I CC the CEO, and unlike yourself, they responded praising me about how they appreciated my conscientiousness and my professionalism. And how Miss James, that's you, was very lucky to have me in her department. Mm -hmm. Is that a fact? Yes, that that that's a fact. It's right here in black and white. So if you are going to complete the projections, there you go. If not, I'd be happy to take care of it first thing tomorrow morning. By the way, Miss James, I'm quitting next month. Yes, yes. <laughs> I plan to pursue my career in acting and um, just thought it would be respectful and responsible to give you a heads up. You know, ample notice. See you in the morning. 